But the yam is too heavy, I can't keep on going. I feel my tears starting, I don't want them showing. The weak little child I'm afraid might be me. Instead of the strong man that I want to be. Instead of the strong man that I want to be. Yes, the yam is too heavy. I can't keep on going. I feel my tears starting. I don't want them showing. The weak little child I'm afraid might be me. Instead of the strong man that I want to be. Instead of the strong man that I want to be. His father turns and comes back along the path. He picks up the yam and adds it to the others on his head. It's a bit too heavy, he says, and begins to walk again. Nuhu who follows his father toward the village, but his head is bent toward the ground. He feels very sad. What will the older boys say? I fell asleep, I couldn't carry the yam, I'm certainly not a man yet. Tears come to Nuhu's eyes, but he brushes them away. I may not cry, he tells himself. Just then, his father stops to wait for him. When Nuhu reaches him, his father puts his hand on Nuhu's shoulder. These yams are getting too heavy for me, he says. We're quite near home, but I want you to carry the big yam the rest of the way for me. They enter the village together. Nuhu's father is smiling, and Nuhu is smiling too, although his body is wet with sweat and he is very tired. Nuhu's mother is waiting for them. I'm glad you've come home safely, she says. Food is ready for you, but go and wash up first. Nuhu's father says, Yes, we've worked hard today. Nuhu helped me guard the field, and he carried the biggest yam home on his head. All the way home? His mother asks. Well, almost all the way, his father says. Almost all the way. He smiles at Nuhu's mother, and his eyes flash brightly as if to say, I'll say no more because I'm proud of my son. And Nuhu knows this is true, and his sadness disappears. After eating his evening meal, Nuhu visits his friend, the baobab tree. I still don't know if I am ten or eleven, he tells the old tree. But I know that tomorrow, if my father asks me to chase the monkeys away, I will not fall asleep in the tree. And now I will go and sleep. So I will be ready tomorrow. I walked home with my father. I carried home the yam. My mother is quite proud of me. She thinks that I am a man. My father knows I did not do exactly what I wanted to. But I am sure he knows tonight. Tomorrow I will do it right. I walked home with my father. I carried home the yam. My mother is quite proud of me. She thinks that I'm a man. My father knows I did not do exactly what I wanted to. But I am sure he knows tonight. Tomorrow I will do it right. Nuhu enters his hut and stretches out on his sleeping mat. Outside, Nuhu can hear the little goat crying for its mother. Little goat, he says, I hope you find your mother soon. A good mother is a gift from God, and a good father is too. And then he says to himself, and so is a good son. I do know that I can learn to do a man's work. He closes his eyes and makes a picture in his head of the wife he will someday have and of the son who will someday help him with his work.
I cannot know the future for sure, but I hope that there will be lots of times to show my parents how much they mean to me. Tomorrow I'll do the best job I can. They'll know I'm growing to be a man. And someday, someday when I'm grown And I have a daughter or son of my own I hope that daughter or that son will see What a very good father I've turned out to be What a very good father I've turned out to be.